this bracelet, I'm just going to guess, could be worth between two and three hundred dollars. Hi everybody, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. Today I'm going to unbox a five pound box of jewelry from ThreadUp. I bought two of these boxes. I already unboxed one of them. It was in the video just before this. And I will put a little card on the screen here if you want to check that video out. I was very happy with that last box. I got quite a few pieces that I listed by eBay store. I'm hoping this box is as good or even better. Let's open it up and see what we have. They did not use tape to seal this box when they mailed it. The same thing happened with that first box. So fingers crossed that no one tampered with this jewelry. Here's the view from the outside. Let's flip it over and take a look at the other side. What's that say? Mama and little teething bracelet, okay. All right, let's rip this bag open. The very first piece coming out of this box is this really cute necklace. It's a bird perched on a twig. It's gold tone. Don't know exactly what kind of bird this is, so if you know, let me know in the comment section. But it is an image of a bird actually uh, enameled onto this piece, and I love it. There is a gold tone chain with a lobster clasp and an extender here, and there is no maker's mark, but I Definitely think that someone would love this necklace. I'm definitely going to sell this. I'm going to list this in my eBay store. Let me take a quick second here to explain that when I unpack the boxes, I kind of make piles of things I plan to sell and things I plan not to sell. The things I won't sell will either be broken or just items I don't think I can sell. I have so much jewelry, I have to be kind of choosy on what items I decide to sell. But if you see anything in this video anywhere that you think you might be interested in purchasing, give me a shout out on my email, which is kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com, kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. I have my email address on the screen right now, and maybe we can work something out. How could I forget to tell you that Larry is with us today? This is Larry the Leprechaun. He brings me luck most of the time when I unbox these boxes. So, Larry, yeah, do your thing, Larry. Just hang out and shower me with luck. Okay. This is a very long pair of earrings. They're tassel earrings in a really pretty royal blue made of seed beads. Let's see how long they are. These earrings are about six inches long from hook to end. I love the blue of these beads, and there's a copper bead cap and a copper ear wire there. Aren't they pretty? I'm definitely going to try to sell these, so these are going in the sell pile. By the way, if my voice sounds different than what you're used to hearing in my other videos, it's because the microphone that I usually use broke. So my new mic should be here any day now, but I did not want to skip a week without doing a video for you guys. So. Bear with me, my new one will be here soon. The next item coming out is this necklace. There is a round pendant here with black and gold tassel chains coming off. This is a very pretty pendant. It has like a black, glittery, not sequins, but some sort of sparkle material on there. I'm not even exactly sure what that is. And then connected to the pendant is this little leather loop and the chain is black and gold as well. This is a very different necklace. I like it a lot. It has a jewelry tag on it. It says BJWLD. I have no experience with that brand. I'll show you what the tag looks like. There's what it looks like. So there is our pretty pendant, dangly, tassely, glittery necklace. I really like it a lot. All of these items right here are going in a craft lot. This looks like a new pair of Charming Charlie earrings. They're really lightweight. I don't know if, if there's something missing from the center there or not, but someone can probably have fun with those. 
an older pair of worn earrings here, loose beads, and then there's that mama and little teething bracelet. All of this is going in the craft lot. This is a really cute pair of earrings. They're very different. There's a gold tone wire with a little panel here and three tassels hanging down. They are statement earrings, I would say, and the tassels are in really good shape. Sometimes when you find used jewelry with these fibers, it can be dirty, so you have to really be careful. But these are in great shape, and I'm definitely going to sell them. I think they're super cute. Next is a set of three bracelets. They are stretchy. They are made of blue cube beads or plastic, and then some silver spacer beads in between. Really cute, but inexpensive. Those will be going in the craft lot. Okay, next is this ring. Super pretty. I believe that looks like turquoise. It's definitely not plastic. I'm pretty sure it is turquoise and it is set in an open work style band. Let me see if I can find any marks on this. I couldn't find any kind of jewelry mark on this ring at all, but what I did notice was that it looks like it has been cut and then re-soldered. I don't know if you can see that right there. It looks like it had been re-soldered. I'm going to try the magnet on this and see what happens. Okay, so the magnet is not attracted to the metal. That's a good sign. Oop, wait a minute. Okay, the setting part is magnetic where the stone sits. The rest of the ring is not. So I am going to test this with acid. I'll put on the screen the results of the test right here to see um, if it truly is sterling silver. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and size this. This looks like it's about a seven, I'd call that a seven and a half. Next is this wooden bracelet. It has a twisty design on it. I love it. Like the wood too. Can you see that there's variations right there? Striations in the wood. It's very pretty. I definitely am going to sell this. It looks a little on the small side. I can't fit my hand through it. Let's see what the diameter is on this. So the diameter on this bracelet is two and a half inches. So you have to have more of a small hand to fit through that to get it on, but it's very pretty and I will sell it. Here's a multi-strand statement necklace. The beads on this, on the color, is a really light minty green. Very pretty. I can't tell if it's almost looking darker on the screen than it is in person. They're very soft mint green. They are plastic beads, all different sizes. They're faceted. Here I'm giving you a closer look at the beads. The finish on the connectors for the beads is wearing off, so instead of being silver, some of the copper is showing through. It does have a lobster clasp, and there's a jewelry tag on this. The jewelry tag says Grazino. Not familiar with Grazino. I've heard of Graziano, but I don't know if this is supposed to be a sort of a, a mock-up of, or I should say fake, of uh, Graziano, but uh, the necklace itself is cute, so I think I'm going to sell this just based on the style. So this one will be going in the sell pile. Here's a gorgeous necklace. Crystal rhinestones. It's got two-tone metal, silver tone and gold tone, mostly gold tone. Here's a good up-close look of all the crystals and colors in this. Um, these aren't crystals. These are just the pyramid-shaped beads here and little links. But there's a gorgeous smoky blue there and some browns, some iridescent stones, some ivory-colored stones, a little bit of everything. And I just love the colors together. And back here, there's an extender in silver tone, and there's the famous clasp. This is a J. Crew jewelry tag there. Anytime I find J. Crew in these jewelry lots, I'm very happy to find it. It sells well for me. This is a gorgeous piece, and for sure I'm putting this one in that cell pile. Here's the bracelet that makes quite a statement. This is made with several strands of chain, it's sort of a mesh look and they're weaved in and out into a kind of a braid or reminds me of little knot designs as well. It's very pretty. I've never seen a bracelet quite like this before. 
Here's an idea of what the bracelet looks like on. It is adjustable. You can see that there are a couple of different links on there where it can be attached. There's not a maker's mark on this one, but it's a very fun bracelet. I will try to sell this one. What we're looking at here are three necklaces. They're all multi-strand statement necklaces. Now this is one that we took a look at earlier. These are all plastic beads. This one is that mint green necklace we saw before. This one is multi-strand smooth beads in like a tan beigey color. This one is plastic faceted beads. More of, reminds me of the color of malachite. Hoping that shows up. Those are faceted. Now I'm going to try something that I did in my previous video and it seemed pretty well received. If you're interested in purchasing this set of three necklaces here, type in, I want the set of three necklaces in the comment section. The first one to comment can have these necklaces for $12 plus $5 shipping, so $17 shipped. Let me know if you're interested. The only requirement is that you have to have a PayPal account in order for me to invoice you for the necklaces. First, once I contact you and tell you the next step, I'll give you 24 hours to respond. Otherwise, it goes to the next person. The next piece I'm pulling out is this really pretty cuff bracelet here. The base of it is silver tone and it has a texture to it, almost like a hammered texture. And we have mixed metals. There's copper colored wire here or trim, gold as well. This green cabochon stone here, I think is plastic, but it's really pretty. It's, um, it's smooth and it has like a variation in it, some lighter shades, darker shades. So that's really pretty. This is definitely going to be sold. I'm going to put this in the sell pile. Look what we have here. This looks familiar. We had a pair of earrings just like this. Let's see, what did I do with those earrings? Here they are. This necklace and these earrings match. I don't know if I have those on the wrong side or not. I don't think it matters. But um, very cute. So I can sell this as a set or maybe I'd sell them separately. You know, this kind of reminds me of Bobble Bar. If you're familiar with Bobble Bar, they tend to use a lot of tassels in their jewelry designs and they have fun pieces. So this is definitely uh, going in the sell pile. Very cute necklace. This next piece here isn't jewelry. It's actually a belt. It's a gold tone belt. Kind of have has that stretchy feel to it. Um, it's got a little hook closure in the in the back there. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I still will be putting this in the craft lot. Since it's not jewelry, I don't think I'm going to sell it. I'm loving this next piece. This is a wrap bracelet. You can get a better idea if I show you up close. Isn't this pretty? It has a gold toned feather charm there and we have some crystal embellishments here and then this tiny row is silver studs. Now it feels like real leather but I'll have to look further into it to see if it is or not. I don't see any markings on it but it's a super cute bracelet. Here's what this one looks like on. I really like it. I think someone would enjoy this. I'm putting this in the cell pile for sure. This is a homemade piece or handmade, whichever you prefer. There's something about this component right here. I really like it. There are these two toned enamel pieces here in green, and then there are those blue crystals attached to each piece. Something about this reminds me of a dragonfly. Is this just me? <laughs> but I really like it a lot. And then the rest of the piece has these curved cylinder beads in gold tone and then the faux pearls in blue and the crystals and then those tiny gold beads in between and yeah this is definitely homemade but it's very cute i just spotted these matching earrings in the pile and now i'm wondering if this is homemade or if it's actually manufactured so now i changed my mind it's not homemade <laughs> but it does have these matching earrings and yeah, I think I'm going to try to sell this set. This is quite a find. Let me show you why. You can see the gold tone component holding this tortoise colored horn pendant, Michael Kors. And this is on a black leather cord. It is an infinity cord, meaning there's no clasp. You just slip it over your head. It does have this other gold piece here. And on this gold tone component, 
it's just decorative and again it's stamped with Michael Kors and the little crystal. I have to say I'm super happy with this piece. This box has been fantastic. The first box was good but this is even better. Super much better. <laughs> super much better? Well you get it. Really good. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at this group of rings. We'll start with this gold tone ring. This looks brand new, still has the size tag on it, which is size six. It's gold tone and it's polished and it's got open work on it. And we have to see what happens with the magnet. Okay, this is not attracted to the magnet. However, it doesn't feel like it's a gold or sterling silver piece. I'm gonna take a look at the inside just to double check. I didn't see a mark on it, but it's a very pretty ring, brand new, and I will put that in the cell pile for sure. Here's the next ring we're looking at. This has three square ruby colored stones. They are faceted. Everything is set in a gold tone. Trying the magnet, and it is sticking to the magnet. Here is the third ring out of that group of four. This one is set in a rose gold tone, and it's got these rhinestone crystals, clear rhinestone crystals, and that center stone is made to look opal-like. I don't know if it is or if it isn't. So let's take a look at the inside. Here's a look at the inside, and I am not seeing any marks on this one. I really love all the details on this ring. Let's size it and see what size it is. I'd call this ring a seven and a quarter, so 7.25 on the size of this ring. Now let's take a look at the last ring in that group of four. This ring has oval faceted crystals all the way around. It's set in silver tone. I'm taking a peek at the inside as I turn it, and I am not seeing a maker's mark on this one. Let's put the magnet on it and see what happens. Hmm. doesn't seem to be attracted to the magnet. Let's get the mandrel out and size the ring here. And I would call this, I'd call this a seven and a quarter to a seven and a half. So I'm thinking this is not sterling silver, but it would be worth testing it out while I'm testing all the other pieces. If I find that it is sterling silver, or let's just say I'll put the results on the screen, whatever I find, one way or the other. Pretty ring though. Well, there's a tag I don't mind seeing. Look what we have here. This is a bangle bracelet, Kate Spade, New York. Wow, let's turn it over and see if there's a price on it, first of all. Brand new with tags. This looks like Goreski glasses, retail $78. Very nice. So we have a black pair of glasses, much like the ones I'm wearing. <laughs> um, yeah, this is so cute. This is a gold tone with black enamel. It has a safety clasp here. So taking the safety clasp off and pulling it apart, there's a magnetic closure there. And of course, the jewelry mark of Kate Spade right inside there. I am super happy about this piece. It's adorable. It's sellable. I'm quite thrilled. I want to ask Larry the Leprechaun to take a bow because he's definitely been showering me with luck on this Thread Up 5 pound box. So Larry, yeah. take a bow, Larry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a cute necklace. This one's got a long oval pendant. It is set in silver tone and it looks like it has some design around the setting there. It feels like stone. I don't think it's turquoise. It could be halite. Not 100% sure. The cord is a braided leather cord in, I think that's dark brown, but I can't tell through the camera if it's black or not. Um, really pretty. I'm gonna turn this over. Okay, the back of it needs either cleaning up or can be left as is. Well, it's not attracted to the magnet, so I'm definitely gonna test this to see if this is sterling or not. But let's take a closer look at that cord. Here's the braided cord. It does have a lobster clasp and an extender. You can see that the lobster clasp is definitely worn, so I don't mind replacing that. I've got some extra lobster clasps on hand here, so I would gladly change that out for a newer one. 
it's it's a very cute necklace, very western with the braided cord there. So I will put this in the sale pile. The next item coming out here is this silver cuff bracelet. Wow, look at the work on that. There's some scroll work edged on the sides of the cuff here. And this stone, I believe, is turquoise. Um, it's not plastic for sure. It's prong set. Look at the detail around that cabochon, all the little scroll work. Wow. It feels really heavy, too, The in a good way. That is like a substantial weight. So there's a sticker on the back. And there is a mark on the back as well. This is a Lois Hill piece. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know what to say. This is an awesome piece to have in this thread up box. Okay, this is a very good thread up box. This is even better than the first one. This bracelet, I'm just going to guess, could be worth between two and three hundred dollars. It's going to take more research, but I'm really familiar with Lois Hill. Very high end um, designs, great designer known for her sterling silver jewelry, and I am beyond thrilled. Wow. The next piece coming out here is this statement necklace. It's sort of a bib style. It's got periwinkle blue and purple stones and some blue stones here. These wavy little chips remind me of Fritos, <laughs> except they're purple. Um, I love the color. They are plastic. And here is the closer look at the box chain it's on. This one has a tag on it. Let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh, INC. That's uh, INC, International Concepts. This is carried by Macy's. And this is a brand new piece, and it's really cute. I like this piece a lot. Love the colors, and I'll be selling this one. This group right here, all going in a craft lot. These are just lightweight pieces here. This looks like, nothing wrong with it. Looks like a watch band. I don't think I would want to list that. This is the one, I'm sorry, that it's all stretched out because it's a really cute stretch bracelet, but the elastic has just seen better days. So that's all worn. That's all gonna go in a craft lot. These two pieces right here are on super delicate silver tone chain. I thought it'd be easier to show them with a bit of a gray background. So let's start with this one. The pendant on this one is this tiny little bar with clear crystals all the way across. Super delicate chain. And there is a lobster clasp and an extender. The clasp and the attachment for the clasp look kind of special, so I'm going to try to get a better look at those. I don't think it's quite picking up like it is in person, but there are look like little tiny crystals on that lobster clasp there. So let's see about this magnet. Let's see what happens when I put the magnet right here. Okay, well that lobster clasp, even if it's sterling, does have a spring mechanism in there that would attract the magnet. So let me try it on the rest here. Okay, it doesn't seem to be attracted to the chain. Let's check the pendant. And it's not attracted to the pendant. So this could be sterling silver, could even be stainless steel. I'll let you know if I found it to be sterling silver. I like the simplicity of this necklace. I'm going to sell it. It'll be a challenge to photograph, but I can get it done. Here's that second delicate chain necklace. This one, now that I have it against the gray background, looks like the silver's wearing off and there's gold or copper showing through. It's, okay, uh, we know the pendant for sure is metallic. Unlikely that it's the sterling silver. The chain is not sticking except for the little mechanism in this lobster clasp. But because the chain is turning, I already know this is going to end up in the craft lot. Look how cute this necklace is. I love it. This one has these tiny little bars in gold tone and silver tone. And some of these bars have crystal embedded in them. Very, very cute. The chain is very delicate. I like this a lot. It's got an extender there, and I am seeing a jewelry tag. It's got a super cute spring clasp. See those 
same kind of clasps on J. Crew pieces. This tag here says, this M is the Madewell jewelry tag. This is a necklace I'll definitely sell. Here's a fun frontal necklace with these gold tone filigree flowers. All three flowers here, the biggest ones in the front, are all a little bit different. Every single flower has a clear crystal and a very pretty chain. The ending has this extender on it and a lobster clasp and there is jewelry tag, VCLM. This is a fun little necklace. I think I'm going to put that in the cell pile as well. Here is a stretch bracelet. This has black stones. They are cold to the touch. The silver on those, let's take a look to see if the magnet wants to stick and it doesn't. I will test those for sterling silver. Maybe they're onyx beads. I'll let you know on the screen if I found if they were silver or not. And so not sure if I'm going to sell this one or not. It depends, I guess, on what the test results are about sterling silver. Next is this really fun, colorful piece. It is a bracelet. It's macrame. There's the other side. These look like halite stones. And look at this. The clasp are these bells. Let's see if you can hear them. Can you hear that? I think that's adorable. But anyway, um, it, the bells are used for the button and this little loop closure over the bell button. So there's a better look at the beads. Should I sell this or not? I'm not sure. I'll put this aside and figure it out later. This is a super long necklace. It's got faux pearls and crystals. Really, really long. The pearls are in shades of beige and brown. Here's a better look at the colors of the pearls. It's on a very delicate gold tone chain and I am seeing a jewelry tag there. Lobster clasp and there is an extender. And this one is, this is Aaliyah Sophia. Because it's super long, it can be worn all the way long or it can be doubled up just like this. I'm definitely gonna be selling this. Leah Sophia does have a following, so this will make a nice addition to my eBay store. Here's another cute necklace. This has a long gold tone chain and another tassel pendant. Let's get in closer. The end of the pendant is this silvery gray tassel. It's in pretty good condition, actually. We have a gold tone bead cap on top of that and then a threaded, it looks like silk thread metallic bead there. Then a crystal component made with gray and it looks like two shades of gray, a light gray and a dark gray crystal there. It's got a pretty gold tone chain and again there is an INC jewelry tag there, a lobster clasp with an extender. So this is a necklace I will sell. I love the blue crystals in this stretch bracelet. There are these really gorgeous royal blue faceted crystals and then every other one is iridescent and has that AB, that Aurora Borealis finish. It's all set in a silver gunmetal. This one is so pretty and I will be putting this one in the cell pile. Next we have this bracelet. It's silver tone, marcasite, and it is a fold over clasp here. Let's open this up. So this is a link bracelet, and let's see if there are any marks on this. There is a 925 mark on there. Now I will do an acid test to confirm that it is indeed 925. I'm thinking it is. I'll put on the screen right now what I found it to be. But this is definitely a beautiful sterling silver piece, marcasite bracelet. I really like it. Here's a fun necklace, very pretty. This one is gold tone and it has a bunch of stacked like jump rings all along the front here. It's like a frontal necklace. And then these really pretty teardropped AB finished gold beads dropping off off the front here. Finished on the end with some faceted rondelle gold beads. And then it's all connected to a double strand of gold tone chain. I'm not sure if this is handmade or not or homemade, but whether it is or if it isn't, I like the way they designed this. There's a gold hook here and an extender with another teardrop crystal. Yeah, this one's a really cute piece. I'm going to sell this one too. All right, we have a set here of four stretch bracelets. 
All of them are in that stretchy cord. These are seed beads, very cute. This is very cute, and I wouldn't even put it in the craft lot, but it's a tiny bit stretched out. So I think someone's going to enjoy that, taking that apart or restringing it. And this here is a baseball charm bracelet. It's made by Cookie Lee. I would sell that, but it needs to be restrung. That's pretty stretched out. All of these going in the craft lot. And I just found this stretchy as well. Really cute beads going in the craft lot because the elastic is stretched out. Next is this wrap bracelet with blue and green beads and also some silver tone beads. It's on faux leather. I think it's faux leather or is it real leather? I'm not sure. I have to look into it a little bit better. Um, it has a button closure and if you're familiar with Chan Lu, she is a famous designer, really known for these kinds of designs, these wrap bracelets. She has the same kind of button ending oval and concave but she's got her jewelry stamp on the just on one side of this button so this is a Chan Lu style wrap bracelet here's an idea of what the bracelet looks like on it wraps around twice and it would attach with this button going into the loop on this leather cute I like the colors this next piece is a bracelet made of pearls and square purple glass beads. There's a magnetic closure here. This is cute. This may be a homemade piece. If it is, it's very well made. I don't see any wires poking through, sticking out. Um, I think this would be a great thing to list. This is a gold tone delicate Rolo chain, and it's got these gold ball beads stations all along. Some of the beads have these crystals embedded and then some are these what they call stardust finish on the bead. Let me show you closer. This gives you a better idea up close of what the beads look like. There's not a jewelry hallmark on this piece but it does have a lobster clasp and an extender. Here's a silver tone pair of earrings. One is missing an ear wire. They remind me of icicles. It's a cute pair of earrings. They're going to go in the craft pile because one of the wires are missing and the next pair of earrings is coming up here. These are really cute, I think. These are copper tone drops, like a teardrop, and each one has a teardropped black crystal in the center. These are very cute copper tone earrings. I like these a lot. I'm definitely going to sell these. Here's a little set here. This is a necklace and a bracelet. I'm pretty sure they're homemade. The beads on here, I believe, are genuine turquoise chips. Here is the clasp. It's a twist-on barrel clasp. Pretty beads. And the bracelet's the same, except the clasp on this is a lobster clasp. Again, the turquoise chips. I'm not sure if I'll be listing these or not. I'm going to think about it, so I'll put those to the side for now. Got a great group of jewelry in this box. Although the first one was good, this was even better. Thanks for coming in. If you love unboxings, subscribe if you haven't. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more just like this, check out the two videos on the screen right here. I think you'll like them. Thanks for coming in. Bye-bye.